Consider a system of two Einstein solids, NA300 and B200Q equal 100. As discussed in this section, compute the entropy of the most likely macrostate and the most uh, like uh, the least likely macrostate. Okay, so um, uh, you could either look at the table in the book, which he's he's done it in depth, or we don't really need the table here because we already know uh, that the most likely m macro state, the most likely, uh, is uh, the one where the energy will be uh, proportional or will be divided in a proportional way between the two solids. So uh, if we have uh, a total of uh, f so we have a total of 500 and uh, a let's uh, let's start with a so a is uh, 100 uh, sorry a is uh, there's 300 on a 300 on a times the number of energy units times 100 so uh, if, if it's proportional this way a will get uh, 60 so this will be uh, uh, a so a will be 60 right q a will be 60 out of these hundred since they're not equal in number if, if they're equal in number then each one will get half but because uh, one exceeds the other by a hundred uh, so you know it's proportional this way so q a will be 60 this is the most likely uh, macro state and we know that the multiplicity the multiplicity of this macro state is given by the product of the two individual macro states so if QA is 60 clearly QB is 40 because there's a total of 100 and so the multiplicity will be that of A times that of B and the reason I'm getting the multiplicity is because the entropy is nothing but KL and the multiplicity so the entropy S is k l n the multiplicity total for both so here i'm finding this and this will be uh, as you know from your uh, formula that we spoke about before um it's uh, uh it's uh where uh, we have uh, each one for a so this would be q a plus n a minus one q choose q a from this that's for a multiplicity of a's then times the same thing for b q b plus n b minus one choose from that q b and uh, we've already reasoned this before we said uh, if we uh, uh, if we uh, assume that there are uh, 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 oscillators uh, with lines and uh, we represent the dots with the energy units um, so we said that the microstate uh, of every possible sequence of dots and lines correspond uh, to a possible mic corresponds to a microstate and since there's always Q dots representing the energies and then n minus one lines representing the um, oscillators there is a total of q plus n minus 1 symbols and uh, given uh, q and n uh, the number of possible arrangements is just the number of ways of choosing q of the symbols to be dots because those are the energy units you're assigning to each oscillator okay so that so that's how you you could reason this formula out okay so now uh, plugging in the numbers we will get uh, Uh, let me plug in the numbers here so uh, okay I'll write it here first then I'll do it on the calculator we have uh, 400 plus an a 300 minus 1 choose 60 times QB 200 uh, plus, sorry, this is supposed to be 40, not 200. Uh, so 40 plus 200 
minus one choose from this QB QB is a disability okay and then uh, this turns out to be uh, 300 706 99 factorial divided by 60 factorial times 299 factorial times same thing here 600 599 factorial divided by q factorial times n minus 1 Okay, so let me plug this in. Oops. Sorry, made a mistake here. This is uh, 400. This is 40, not 400. Oh, and this here is. Uh, oops. Made all kinds of mistakes here. I apologize. Not being. Trying to multitask and do something else at the same time, but apparently it's not working. Um, this is 340, 339 with QA is 60, not 40. 6359 over. Uh, uh, this is too easy, that's why I was sloppy. Uh, uh, and then I got all the numbers wrong. Uh, 359 this is n minus 1 and is 300 uh, so this is 300 uh, minus 1 is 299 and this here is 40 420 minus 1 is uh, I mean 220 239 uh, 239 and this is 199 okay let me plug this stuff in okay so we get uh, 6.866 times 10 to the 114 a very large number this is the uh, most likely mi uh, microstate and so now the entropy will just be k l n multiplicity he said ignore k so you could just leave k as k if you want and then ln this so this is for the most likely microstate and so we get okay now let's move to the second part of the question where it says the least likely macro state now the least likely macro state is uh, where q has no energy right and you could look at the table and see it but that's when you know you have uh, the least possible which is almost which is extremely extremely unlikely uh, is when qa equals zero right uh, so you don't give uh, uh, so you put all the energy uh, you put all uh, 100 units on the least number of molecules not even on the largest number of molecules least number of molecules being 200 and since a has 300 which is most likely to take more energy units you make that zero so that's the least likely so the uh, least likely uh, in the smaller solid all the energy lies in the smaller solid uh, least likely is when QA equals zero. This is A, which makes all the energy in the smaller solid, QB. So QB would take the entire 100. And now, let me put the numbers here so we don't get confused like the first time. So I don't want to be keep scrolling up. So this is 200, but uh, sorry, this is uh, not like this. 
and B is 200 okay so and then we do the same thing we do the multiplicity total of both of them and uh, if we do that A times B and I'm gonna use the same formula as above uh, so this will be QA which will be 0 plus uh, NA 300 minus 1 choose QA choose 0 and then uh, this is uh, QB 100 plus 200 minus 1 choose 100 uh, now we'll plug it in so this is uh, 299 factorial divided by 0 factorial 299 factorial clearly you get 1 here for this right because there's only one way you could do this you could choose 0 which just put the whole thing in, in B okay and then the second one is uh, 300 299 factorial over 100 factorial times uh, n is 200 199 factorial okay so plugging this in will get us so this whole thing is one Two point seven seven times ten to the eighty one, and of course the entropy uh, will just be uh, KL in this. So it will be K We get 187.5. Okay, mm, this is the second part, and then if we go to the third part, uh, Let's see what's the third part. It says uh, also compute the entropy over long time scales, assuming all microstates are accessible. Okay. Um, well, over long time scales, uh, if all the microstates are accessible, then uh, the multiplicity uh, will then they will become one big solid, and we could just say that the multiplicity. Uh, of that one big solid will be just the sum uh, of uh, Q A and N A and Q B and N B minus one, and then all the energies, total energy, we're gonna choose from this a total number of energy. So this will be the uh, all possible microstates, um, right? So, uh, okay, and now we just plug in the numbers. Uh, so, uh, let's plug it in. So, QA. Uh, that is oops sorry okay so we were doing the over long uh, time scales so that means all the energy gets passed around randomly and all the microstates are equally probable uh, this is um, uh, if, if you look at the system at any instant in time uh, uh, you are uh, equally likely 
uh, to find it in any of uh, all the total microstates. Uh, this is the assumption of fun uh, this is the fundamental assumption of statistical mechanics that when you have an isolated system in thermal equilibriums in thermal equilibrium all the accessible microstates are equally probable okay um, okay so uh, now all we have to do is uh, plug things in so we've got uh, uh, if you plug them in you're gonna get 599 and here there's total of 100 right and this will be 599 factorial divided by 100 factorial times 598 factorial so plug this in Sorry, again, another mistake. This is 600. Divided by 100 factorial times n minus 1. You get uh, nine point uh, actually I'm reading this off the table because my calculator didn't really read this one just this part uh, this is uh, 9.3 times 10 to the 15 uh, to the 115 Okay. Okay, and the question was the en the entropy. Uh, compute the entropy over long, zooming all microstates. Okay, so yeah, so just I'll end that, and we get uh, s equals. KLN this so this is KLN we get 267k Bolt K is Boltzmann's constant we'll just leave it So this is when they're all equal. All the microstates are accessible. Uh, so uh, yeah, the main idea is, and this is what the uh, second law of thermodynamics is. It's a law of increase of multiplicity. There's nothing certain. It's just highly probable that uh, the system will uh, will be in the state where k take where. Uh, there's 60 units of energy on solid A and 40 units of energy on solid B and this is the most likelihood that you're gonna find the system in uh, with this much entropy and then the, the this is very unlikely uh, that you will find uh, 100 energy units on solid B and nothing on solid A um, and this is the entropy of that uh, notice that uh, we have a much higher entropy here it's 260 4.42 as here we have 187 needless to mention that this is very very unlikely extremely unlikely almost impossible uh, and then uh, if um, if we go to the uh, long uh, time scales uh, that's when the energy gets passed randomly uh, such that all the microstates are equally accessible all 462 of them are equally accessible um, then are equally probable uh, this is the fundamental assumption of statistical mechanics that you are equally likely to find it in any of those 462 uh, microstates this concludes uh, the question